so continuing on here for our slides. Um, so there's this whole set of things uh, called aliases, okay? Um, suppose I wanted to, to set my LS so that it actually did show things by default in all that detail, okay? Um, it showed things in these columns uh, with, with uh, for example, the size, and it also shows the hidden files. It shows all files, in other words. Well, I can issue this command uh, ls minus la every time, but it gets kind of tedious. So another thing I could do is I could set up an alias, alias ls equals, and put in this thing ls minus la. Hmm? And by defining this alias, now if I type alias, I'll see there is an alias called that. Now when I type ls, it actually unpacks it into ls minus la. Okay. Alias allows me to kind of uh, associate aliases for certain commands so they unpack, they get expanded into a broader command with all the options I want. Okay? So that's a way of customizing. And you need to be aware that those aliases get expanded before the command you know, is executed. And they might add options that you don't see. That's why I was confused a little bit when I ls dot bash rc as to whether it was set in that mode for all files. Um, so, so now I have this customization of ls. Now I can unalias it. I can do unalias ls. And now if I do ls, I'm back to the original functionality. I don't, I'm not using this extra, extra command line. So uh, aliases provide this extra level of kind of um, uh, this extra level of function there. So I'm going to stop that.